Hello and welcome back to another episode of Forts and today we're going to be showing off the power of the penguins because it turns out that uh well Tanya's mods got an update so we've got another new toy to play with and I am looking forward to this one this new toy is actually a penguin launcher it it launches penguins at the enemies and the penguins do penguin things they just they kind of slide around as uh, crash into everything, it's just like March of the Penguins just gonna have an army of penguins go sliding down the cliff, cliff and just land on the opponents. That's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, let's just try not to get beat at gold on us, cause it's... There's going to be a few penguins harmed in the making of this film. So let's, uh, move on up. I believe all we need is a... I said an upgrade center in order to unlock the penguin cannon. So I put down the upgrade center here, work a little bit of defense. And then really that's about it. Everything else is just, well, building up, getting ourselves a nice stable base, something that's not so skinny, ideally, because thin bases tend to topple pretty easily. There we go. Much better. There it is. Nice. Okay. Let's add a little bit to the front after adding a rope. So we want to add the rope first, that way the base doesn't topple too much or lean too much forward. Alright. Much better. Add another one of these at the top. And then we can start putting our penguin cannons down. Now they're kind of like mortars, kind of like uh, machine guns. They look like machine guns, kind of like acts like machine guns, but they shoot like mortars. Well, with the projectile like mortars anyways. So we'll just put a bunch of these out front. Now, if I recall correctly, they don't cost any energy to fire, but they cost 8 metal to fire. So we can't just spam them all over the place without having any kind of large amount of metal production. So that's why I was just going to go ahead and put down another mine right here. Because otherwise, we're just going to run out of... Oh, run out of ability to fire these things. Set these guys on hotkey 1. And these guys on hotkey 2 go full power at whatever this angle is. Penguins! Yes! Bouncy, 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 bouncy. Ha 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 ha! Alright, so that was good. Let's actually focus on... Yeah, this right here. There we go. Bounce all over the place. Just keep firing the penguins. Penguins everywhere! <laughs> Look at them bouncing around. Oh, that's nice. But you really want us to get them like bouncing in between like back the base or something. That way they just keep going forever until they actually hit something worth exploding on. So that'll be those. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade these while we wait. Increase more of the base size and just keep firing the penguins. That's 1E, 2E. And keep going as the penguins just infinitely fly over at our opponents. Alright, build up. Build another one of these. We need two. We actually don't have any other tech at the moment. Ooh! Penguin versus machine gunner. Who wins? Uh, looks like... I'm not sure. But the uh, machine gunners are not surviving. Oh, that's funny. The penguin's just sitting back here, just digging away at the base. Alright. Looks like these guys can take a hit or two from machine guns, which is nice. Come on, penguins, take out those gunners. Alright, so it looks like they're finally starting to fix themselves and find a means of not dying to the penguins. Not that the penguins are doing much damage to begin with, but it's something. Alright, let's fire these way up here now. Where do these go? All the way in the back. Looks like they're going way over, so that's good to know that we can actually have them fly way over everything. It is possible to have too much power on these, which is a good thing. So let's go ahead and decrease the power down to try 83%, the same angle. Yes. It bounces off the front here. I could just start sliding around. Nice. It looks like they really don't deal any damage to structure or devices at all. So we kind of have to... If they don't hit weapons, they just don't deal any damage like, at all, which is, you know, not great as a weapon. Uh, we're gonna have to switch off of these pretty soon, apparently, because we just otherwise won't have any means of, well, harming our opponents, which we kind of need to be able to do. And they can be shot down by machine gunners. Guns. Super effective against penguins, apparently. Who would have guessed? 
So uh, that's that's gonna be the penguin launchers. I wonder if I can survive long enough to switch off into something else, anything else. Because I'm not convinced at this point I could do that. At least they're cheap to fire. Okay, so they should have heavy weapons coming out here pretty quickly. Which is going to be concerning. So I don't have any means of stopping the heavy weapons. Yep, there it is. Called it! Good thing we had our little bit of defenses. Otherwise that would have been real bad. Like, real bad. Alright. Time for the munitions plants. Yes. Let us do the munitions plants. Upgrade you. Fire another round of penguins? Let's fire another round of penguins. I'm actually blowing up a few gunners. Just kind of nice. Unfortunately, doesn't deal any damage to exposed devices like wind turbines, so can't expect any kind of serious serious retaliation or serious uh, expenditure coming out of these. They do take out a gunner every so often. Alright, so we're going to have our cannons coming up pretty quickly here. Firing off these again. Build another slant of metal. Build some more metal in the front just to keep things going. Uh, do I want to use this? Nah. There you go. Should help out. So I do want to have something here, otherwise, this could get shot pretty easily. Hey, we took out one gunner with the penguins. Nice! That sounds like that got us got an upgrade. I think Tanya Tanya's mod modified the uh, the twenty millimeter cannon, like the default one, because it's not supposed to fire that fast, which is kind of nice. It's a bit of a nice little buff. All right, so let's go ahead and start building a position for our standard cannons. I want to build here. Yeah, I do. Oh, that was not intentional. Alright, standard cannon position. Ooh, what's this? EMP it's sent out a massive EMP signal. Will be exclusive to the iron barrel on something. Oh. Oh. Oh, what are you? It drains Jesus. Okay, well that's not gonna happen on this map. Uh, it drains 25 metal per second just for existing and costs 10,000 energy to fire. So I'm gonna want to be careful around that one. But apparently it does something pretty cool. Is my teammate getting AP snipered? He is getting AP snipered. Oh jeez, teammate, no! Don't do it, don't succumb! Alright, let's upgrade you. And then, what else do we want to build here? Must go with a shotgun. Let's see, we could build a Hellfire shotgun. I think that'll be fine. Let's just add another one of these up top. Now this will definitely make my base pretty easy to collapse, but I think we're gonna need the extra firepower here. In fact, let me just go ahead and sell these off, because these are just gonna get in the way. There is no points where those are going to help me with anything. Let's build this out of airy metal. That way it doesn't get in the way of our turbines. Build another airy metal here. Yes. Okay, let's do this. And then another little bit out front. So while the front of our base is red, any destruction to the front will also remove the red. So we should be fine. Much better. Let's go ahead and add another metal piece here. Because of the commander we are, uh, metal is cheaper. So I'm not afraid to add more metal. In places that it wouldn't normally. Because I don't need to be so stingy about it. But we also don't want to have too much weight going around here. So gotta be gutted. Gotta be careful, otherwise we will start collapsing ourselves, and collapsing is never fun. Not fun for anyone. At least, not fun for me. I don't like when my base collapses. It's really rather embarrassing. Looks like someone got a nice shot off over here. Very nice. 
just in case they start adding missiles, I'm going to preemptively add little places to put gunners across the front. Yep, there goes the first teammate. First weapon is available to fire. Uh, I did not mean to do that, but it looks like the auto fire put it in a decent position. So we're okay. So the active ability for this commander is cheaper repair. So when we have something worth repairing, we can repair it, but until then, uh, we don't really need to start activating our commander ability. There we go. So much metal. We're getting real, uh, real close here on the. Uh, on the base weighing too much side. So let's go ahead and sell this off. Hey look, our base doesn't weigh as much anymore. Let's go ahead and put that back. Sell these off, convert this to metal to help strengthen it a little bit. Oh dear, we cannot be adding any more weight to this base. Like very little weight at all whatsoever. Except I should add something here. Ooh. Yeah, just in case we get atom cannons. Don't want that to happen. All right, let's go ahead and try to focus down this front base here. Looks pretty weak. Yeah, it doesn't have a whole lot in front, and it's pretty dense on armor, so any kind of AoE hit like that is just going to deal a lot of damage. Look at that. We, just, the, just the plain AoE let us expose the core, so we could... We can do some pretty heavy damage. Oh, it looks like we have a self-destruct. Someone's built way too high with way too much armor, and down they go. Okay. Time for the double cannon. Fire here. Oh, they have, look at all the metal they have. It's everywhere. I'm kind of surprised we didn't just door snipe their cannon, their laser there. What happened here? Uh-oh. Looks like he's having trouble with his base as well. And that's another suicide in the match. Rippy dippy. Okay, so I don't want to be upgrading... Let's go ahead and put this guy here. Give me something to do. I don't want to be upgrading my uh, cannons, because the cannons become warheads. They, they actually just shoot warheads. And warheads can be shot down, which makes them not guaranteed damage. Oh, that's one laser down. And, well, they now have a hole in their base. Oh, he... The flag took out my sniper. That's fine, it's fine. Uh, let's... Hmm. Strengthen up the base a little bit. Oh, that isn't double burst. I missed one. Oh, rip. They're shooting they're shooting penguins at me now. I see how it is. What of that? Alright, once I get the sniper up. This is how you defend a laser, by the way. Oops. Penguin almost got inside the base. All you gotta do is just kind of have stuff for them for the laser to break, and that'll be it. Alright, let's fire again, same location. Do some more damage, more splash onto the core. Uh, this base is not actually as weak as it appears, despite being so extraordinarily tall. Uh, let's see, once the sniper comes online, I'll start taking out their flak and stuff. Assuming this airplane doesn't do it for me. Nope, airplane did it for me. So all I gotta do is finish taking out the penguin launchers. It's one down. Actually, the airplanes are finishing all that off for me, too. Alright then, in that case... 
Let's send off another cannon shell into the front of this guy's face. Oh! RNG did wonders there. Both of those cannon rounds, despite not despite being manually aimed, were ridiculously accurate and managed to all land in the same spot. Normally RNG doesn't do that to me. I'm quite quite content with the way this worked out. Uh, top base still tanking up and not displaying any weapons, so fortunately for us, he could just kind of stay that way for a while and then not do- Oh, it's, they're doing it again, and they're penetrating pretty deep. That's another heavy splash into the core. I want to get some penguin launchers. Do we want to get some penguin cannons? We can get some penguin launchers. Does he not have a door there? I don't think he has a door there. Can I just snipe that? I think I can just snipe that. I can just snipe that. We didn't put a door on that. That's one less fire laser for you. Are these ready to fire again? They are. All right, let's go. Oh, they're focusing fire again. Landing very heavily into that location. Oh, rip snipey. Ooh. Ah, uh, let's see. What else do I want to do? If I were to put this right here, I could turn you into a uh, mortar launcher. Is that guy upgrades into a mortar launcher? And then just kind of have him launch mortars over the across the top. So what I want to do here is lower this angle a little bit. Try to splash. Well, I was aiming for below that, but that'll work too. Let's see. We're good on power. I could use another battery. Actually, I could use a couple more batteries and upgrade these. Let's go ahead and add a couple of these as well. Upgrade the ones I have. Oh, someone's repairing. Or I don't think they're repairing because I didn't see my teammates actually take any damage, but it's fine. A little bit lower again. Ooh, actually that didn't do any, uh... You know what time it is? Time to upgrade these. Now that they're not expecting it. Just to make sure they don't have anti-air. I'm gonna do. Look at this. They're hitting me with lasers and nothing's happening. Alright, so that's starting to do a little bit much. Yeah, we're starting to get a little heavy here. Okay. We're still fine. We're still fine. Actually, what I can do is, uh... Pull the base back a little bit. Like so. Yep. Doing to me what I wanted to do to him with the flak. Mm. Yeah, so I'm not gonna. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Ooh, am I just gonna be fine? Yep, we're good. We're good. We're coming real close to collapsing here, guys. Like, I'm playing with fire. I should not be building any more than I already am. Yet I continue to do so. I really should not be building any more than I already am. Right, connect, connect. This won't actually help with the current weight, but that will help with any new weight that I add. Alright, machine gunners, time to clear some skies, please. Please kill that gunner, thank you. Now you guys. Nuke him. Nuke him hard. Alright, did I get lasered here again? I did. Aha! I don't think we hit him. Because I wasn't... I didn't notice. I don't think we hit him, though. Nope, he has, still has flak. There we go. Can we snipe something? We can snipe that. We can snipe those. Fire these. And then fire this. Alright, does he have more flak? Answer? No! Oh, those are gonna deal a lot of damage. Oh, but it went off course. Ooh, look at this. Can we get the core? It's exposed. That's one hit. So close. Come on. Come on. Get it. Just another... Just one more hit. Just one more hit. Come on. Just one more hit. Oh, he covered it up. Did this guy miss? He did miss. Okay, we're good. Look at that. There's no more flak. That means we can just launch again. So we'll launch it a little bit lower. That way the random variance on these should keep it roughly on point. And he's gone. Just down to AoE. Their top player is still... He's building more things, I think. But he hasn't fielded any weapons. 
which is rather unfortunate. Uh, this player has built the uh, EMP tower, which means he's sitting on negative 25 metal per second. Um, that's going to be pretty rough for him to deal with. Like, really rough for him to deal with. Let's go ahead and upgrade this boy. Yep, there's apparently no way for him to build once you start doing that. It's real bad. Would not recommend. It's one of the reasons why I'm not building the Atom Cannon right now. We can go ahead and fire this guy off. Uh, we'll find out pretty quickly if this guy is gone or just not building. Uh, well, he's repairing. So he's here. He's just uh, not fielding weapons. Alright, so if we fire this right here, where do these go? Do those go into the right spot? Oh, almost the right spot. Alright. I don't think these can fire any higher. I think that was as high as it can go. Oh, not quite. Alright, fire again. Come on. Collapse that. Okay, oh, no, he just has repairs. He just has uh, lots of repair stations is what's going on here. So he's probably not here. Which is unfortunate. But that'll wind down this particular round, showcasing off the new penguins and their relative lack of usability in a lot of cases. But hey, you know, we can show off the EMP tower next. Off to round two, and this time we're going to be showing off the power of the EMP tower. I have no idea what this is or how it works. Uh, I've not actually seen it before until like just right now, but I'm actually kind of excited to see how it's going to work out. Uh, I'm also kind of worried uh, because this time we actually have people on the other team that are champions in previous horse tournaments, and from what I know about the uh, the EMP tower, it can actually actually go ahead and redo this a little bit. It can actually, it actually drains 25 metal per second, and as you guys know, uh, that's kind of devastating to a player. And uh, if you're against another player that knows how to capitalize on that kind of thing, then we're going to be in trouble. But, let's start working our way and see just how this works out. If we're signing our own fate here, trying to go down this new testing tactic. But for now, all I need is more technology. Actually, what do, what, what do I actually need to open this? It requires an upgrade center. Uh, I did not place an upgrade center, I placed a workshop, but uh, let's st just get more resources then, because we're going to need it. Actually, let me, um, hmm, but Derek produces more metal than two upgraded mines. Do I want to get a Derek instead? I don't think so, I think I want to stick with mines. Do I want to stick with mines? You know, don't really want to stick with mines here, do I? I really gonna need the Derek if I want to survive having, you know, the EMP tower active. All right, so I've already got it built. I'll so just let it. Uh, is now a good time to restart it? It is a good time to restart it. So let's go like this, and that'll give me enough enough stuff to place down a uh, Derek. Actually, I gotta have a node over here. I forgot, you can't just place it on the ground, it has to be attached to, or adjacent to a node. There we go. Alright, now we get this here. I'm gonna slide it all the way over to the side. I think I can slide it over further if I put another node right here. Get it all the way in the corner. Come on, come on, come on, get in the corner. There it is. Now, can I place another mine next to it? Oh, so close. Alright, I'm gonna have to sell this off too. Let's keep it for a moment because I don't have anything else to put there. And we'll start working our way up. Now this oil derrick's gonna take a long time to build. Looks like we are the Warthog Commander. Warthog Commander gives a uh, faster reload, better aiming of heavy weapons, an active and 25% bonus damage to heavy weapons. It's going. Oh, we have penguins. That's what's going on here. Yeah, whatever. They don't. They don't have any weapons for them to to deal damage to. So it's it's fine. This means we can add another derrick. Can we add another derrick here? I think we could add another derrick here. 
No, we cannot. But we can add this. And then sell this. And sell this. Slide these up. This is going to be painful. Very painful. But it will be worth. Because we need all the help we can get. Otherwise, we just literally will not be able to build anything. Once these uh, EMP tower goes down. I probably should have been testing this on a larger map. Like one of those co-op maps. But this is what's going to happen to you if you... Uh, this will simply serve as an example of what happens if you attempt to use these kind of things in a single player match. I know in the, or not a single player, in a non, uh, not in a standard deathmatch, non co-op map is what I'm looking for. That is the phrase I'm looking for. Let's see, how many, how much time has elapsed? Ooh, about four minutes has elapsed, so we could be getting hit by a heavy weapon right now. Um, yeah. Laser could happen in the next 15 seconds or so, and we're, we don't even have our tech up yet. And we're like just getting half of our economy. Yeah, 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 this is bad. Don't, don't try to use this in a vanilla, in a vanilla match. It's not going to work out for y'all guys. It's, it's, oh dear, oh my. Panic is coming. Okay. I'm going to need airy armor here, like right now. And hope this protects my turbines sufficiently. Let's put another turbine down. Okay. Upgrade center is in. We're getting 15 metal per second out of this. Nice. I see the penguins. They're welcome to do what the penguin do. Which is apparently not much. As you bounce around. Okay, so they do damage to... They do a little bit of damage to weapons, but it's, it's not really that much. As you see, this guy's eating like three penguins now. That's fine. I, I don't even know if that registered is taking damage on my turbine despite it hitting my turbine and exploding. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this down so we can start working on laser weaponry. And then EMP tower. Alright, so the EMP tower requires 5,000 energy and 800 metal to place. Alright. Upgrade these. Need more energy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So close. Just another 500 energy. It's a few seconds away. Upgrade. Nice. Alright, so those are the penguin launchers. Um, I kind of want to blow them up. I kind of want to let the opponent just kind of, well, enjoy having them while... Let them think they're doing something useful to us. While we conveniently ignore them and continue on about our way. Alright, so EMP tower. Oh dear. Oh, this is a big boy. I guess you're going back here. Alright. I wonder, can you... What is your hitbox like? Uh, big. That's what it's like. Alright, then we're gonna upgrade these. Now, eventually, I'm gonna put a laser right here. So I'll put it, some wooden doors on this for now. Still have a little bit of time before we need to place our laser down. Let's go ahead and put one of these here. One of these here, sell off this, put one of these here, sell off this. Ooh. Oh, that was a cannon. Okay. Good thing we've started to get a little bit more armor in front of us. Let's add a little bit more wooden armor to the front. Okay. Good, good, good. I do want another battery, though. Uh, where can I put battery? Here. Here and there. Nice. Alright, laser. I could put you down. If the EMP tower just kind of like EMPs the entire map, then this could be devastating to whatever we manage to hit. Which would be cool. But I do need an energy shield here. I'm gonna replace this with an energy shield. Then put another airy armor. And another airy armor. And a metal door. Ah, well, let me first, uh, first do this. Very good. Whoa, what was that? Oh, my, that was my teammate getting hit by, getting hit really hard by a cannon shot. Alright, so what I want to do here is build a little bit of an extension. So these nodes that I'm building are not attached to the base in any way. So they're not, they don't have any weight on them. And then I'll add struts to these here. That way we have struts that are attached directly to the floor. I just, it's a nice little way of adding additional 
adding additional uh, foundation nodes without without causing any problems, which is nice. Attach this and do the same thing up here. Good extra support for the base. That way we can build tall because we don't have a whole lot of space in the back because it's being taken by the um, the NP tower. Now that we have that there, once I add this new weight to the front, right to the top up here, uh, half of it will get shared between all these new foundation nodes that I just, just built. Let's us build more and more densely without overweighting ourselves. So that's how you English. Nice. I to add a little bit more to the front. Let's add some ropes, actually. Help pull this down. I'll hold this back. So we don't lean forward as much. And then one more little piece of wood out the front. Yeah. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to build this door here. And this door's purpose is to help prevent an atom cannon hit. So in case we get hit by an atom cannon, uh, we don't... It explodes here instead of exploding here. It gives us a little bit of distance to save our core from from its destruction. I'm actually going to do this too. For the same reason. It's just a little bit of... It's a little bit of help. Okay, so I'm also going to add a turbine up here. We do need one more battery. We have so many batteries now. This is getting ridiculous. Alright, so I'm going to try this out. How do you work? It doesn't look like I can aim it. Just kind of click. Oh. Oh, everything is shut down. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> it literally shut everything down across the entire map. That's funny. Um, so we're going to need a lot of batteries, actually. So, the only benefit, it shuts me down as well, uh, which means all energy shields, and everything's going to be down, but energy shields in particular are um, going to take a little bit while, a bit, little bit longer to come back online, which means that will give us an opportunity to fire this off, and for a few precious moments, we will have the ability to fire our laser without any, well, without any chance of the shots coming back to hit us. So that'll be nice. But we're going to need a lot of power, Jen. And we're going to need a lot of everything, really. Oh, well, there goes my teammate. I like how despite having this, and it costing that much, we're uh, still at a plus 46 metal, which is a good amount of metal. Alright, so now all we need is more battery power. Actually, we still don't have enough batteries. Oh dear. So I gotta put a battery here. Oh, it's, I hate having a battery there, as, as I'm sure you guys know and understand why. Uh, it's, it's just too close to the front. It gets hit and blown up, and then bad things happen. Alright, so that sounds like a nuke. I want to do this. Let's get rid of this. That should be sufficient to help clear the skies. All right, so we need, we have, ooh, I don't know if it's going to be enough. This battery done? It is done. All right. All we need is 2,000 energy after this fires. All right, go. Yes. Oh, that was not great timing. Oh, well. A little bit more power. No! Oh, that didn't cut as deep as I hoped it would. Okay. Alright then, in that case, let's go up. Connect up here. Get more goods out of it. Alright, why you know race properly? Alright, so you sell that? That's selling, okay. Good. But now we can fire the laser without uh, worrying about energy shields, like ever. Alright, we have a nuke. Nice. Let's put this boy right here. Very nice. Okay, we don't have nearly enough power to do that trick again. Not nearly at all. 
So let us build up a couple. Let's build this out at two and a half high. That way we could put heavy weapons here if we so need them. And I think we will. Let's put two more heavy weapon slots, and then this will be more turbines. No. Oh. Okay. Turbine here, and here, and here. Energy shield there. Metal goes here. Let's actually build this properly. Just one. Pull this back. And then metal. Now this is area metal, so it doesn't isn't affected by. Or it does not affect wind, which is really powerful. Actually, am I on fire? I am on fire. Actually, you know what would be really good? Having this nuke go off. Let me sell this. And then immediately EMPing. That way they can't defend themselves. That would be really nice, actually. I want to try that now. Just like what I did to my teammate a moment ago. I do have the workshop, so I can build this. But for the moment, let's do our EMP trick again. Because we can. Alright, let our anti-air clear the skies. And then fire. Alright. Everything is offline. All energy shields are down. And then fire. John. Now that was his turbines. He definitely had an energy shield there. But no more. Oh dear. We have a sniper who can snipe. That's unfortunate. But I have a lot of energy income per second. So I could just kind of replace these. Yes, yes, yes. Use your missiles on me. Do it. Do it now. Or don't. You have a nuke. Please don't do that. No! Eh, it's fine. We just lost a few gunners. Nothing of importance was lost. Okay, upgrade you. Put gunners back. We still need so much more power, guys. Like, this is this is actually ridiculous. It costs... The, the giant laser costs 15,000 to fire. And... Oh, that was an atom cannon. Okay. Uh, can I make it there? I don't know if I can make it there. I made it there. But I'm probably gonna lose it pretty quickly. Uh, is there anything worth here? It's just economy. Like, despite all of this energy production, we don't have enough energy production. I gotta fire, I gotta upgrade this too before really using it. Okay, second base. We need to fortify this. Otherwise, we gotta run out of goods. Oh dear. That was a cannon shot. Alright. Good thing I had all those doors. Oh, jeez. These nukes. We need more anti-air out of this. I sell this so I don't get something confused. Alright. Nuke is not yet ready. But our laser is. Alright. Fire this. And everything is offline. And fire you again. All the way through. Uh, unfortunately, you are not the one with the missiles. So, not a great... Oh dear. That's gonna be a problem. Alright, come on. Need you to clear the skies now more than ever. Oh dear. Uh, this could be a problem. Oh. Oh, they weren't aiming at me. All that panic for nothing. Alright. Is this... It's not online yet! At least we have enough power gen with all these batteries back here. Has finally solved that problem. I just remember we have Tanya's mod, which means we have wooden doors available to us, which means I don't have to leave these exposed anymore. Hmm, I should... I should solve that problem. Okay. I am last alive.
This is not good. I don't have a strategy that can actually hurt them. I don't have weapons that can hurt them, no. Okay. Oh wow, that broke through all the things. Okay. All right. Oh dear. I don't think I'm gonna survive this, guys. Come on, come through. Wow, gunners actually did their work. It's not common, actually. Okay, we're still alive. Uh, one of these days I'm gonna stop doing meme strategies as much because it's it's just hopeless, man. You know what I mean? Like you can't you can't actually fight back these kind of things. All right, you need to get nuked. Actually, you need to be nuked right there. Go on, fire it. No anti-air for you. Okay, that'll disconnect all of that. But I think now that we have these missiles online, we can actually get some pretty guaranteed hits. Which should help us out a lot. What happened up here? You got shot is what happened up here. Okay. We have gunners. Uh, they're still upgrading things, so that means something bad is going to happen very quickly here. Is EMP tower online again? It is not. I'm just going to fire at something, because I can. Might as well. Yay! Nope. No hit for you. I should put energy shields here just to stop bad from happening. Alright. That's gonna be a lot. Good thing we have a lot of gunners. Is it gonna be enough? It was enough. Okay. No nuke for you. You just lost your door. Very good. The, the joy and power of wooden doors. Making me happy. Alright, let's fire you up again. This time, right down the front. And... Activate. Oh no, I timed it just, just not good enough. Okay. At least we can still get this going. Blow all that up. Just, it's just a few frames later and we had, would have had those nukes going through clear skies, but... Not quite. Oh dear. Yep. That's what all that metal was for up front, to stop that from happening, and it worked. Um, kind of. Unfortunately, we lost a lot here. And with it, probably our ability to survive anything. Uh, if those cannons had been aimed, been aimed slightly differently, we would have lost all, all the things. Alright, let's go up. Up. Wooden door. All right. I don't think we're going to have an opportunity to rebuild this out of anything else. Let's go ahead and fire these again. Right down the front. This time let's not mistime this. Now. <gasps> Why are you spinning, spinning in circle? No! What was that? Okay. 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 This is this is fine. Uh, this is not fine. Nothing is fine. Everything is exploding. Um, I don't know why they just haven't shot me yet. They could just kind of shoot me, and I'm gonna blow up here. All right. This is bad. I should take out all of my gunners here. Yep, yep, that's it. <clears throat> Alright! Well, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. If you want to see more memes, more shenanigans, do let me know because this... 
This is exciting to find all the new mods, all the new content, and to show it off for you guys. But for now, have a good one, everyone. And I'll see you guys later.